If there's one thing each of us can relate to, it's the experience of dealing with doctors and hospitals. Let's face it, we all get sick and health emergencies are bound to impact each and every one of us. The good news is, when cutting edge technological innovations in healthcare emerge, we can all reap the benefits. In the future, first responders can arrive at the scene of an accident and allow doctors to assess the entire situation in real time and in high definition. Then make instant assessments based on wireless data delivery systems. On any given day, that could be a life-saving innovation for any one of us. That's finally turning telemedicine into the transformative health innovation that patients have longed for. It's finally time that you get to say, the doctor will see me now. Because it's about health, this is the story of how 5G technologies and telemedicine could save your life. This is boundless. Where will the future of medicine take us? With the implementation of 5G, telemedicine will bring doctors in our home and in the field in an unprecedented fashion. The speed and access will allow doctors to evaluate medical vital signs instantaneously and act quickly in emergency situations. We spoke with Dr. Basil Harris, Deputy Chief of Emergency Medicine at Mainline Health's Lankanau Medical Center in Philadelphia about how 5G can affect life in the ER. Telemedicine is advancing very rapidly. We, we use telemedicine a lot, even in the hospital where we need specialists. Sometimes we'll bring them in remotely via a video monitor. With 5G and with uh, reliable data streams, we're able to take that to the next level. Being able to get that information in real time without hiccups and streaming this large amount of information is what allows uh, me as a physician to, to be able to look at that information and make a, a timely decision and action. Today we try to do these type of things and we try to extend the hospital into the ambulance network and they can send me pictures of EKGs and some information so we can activate resources before the patient arrives to the hospital, which is great. But with 5G, we're gonna be able to extend that even further. Imagine you're on call and you're a pediatrician taking care of 100 or 1,000 children. With something like 5G, where we can get a stream of vital signs directly from the home with reliable laboratory data, you will be able to make a more informed decision on what to do with the child. It doesn't always have to end with taking the child to the ER. However, if the child is sick, you can act on it fast and take the appropriate steps to remedy them. By bridging the information into the home and into the community, you're able to take care of a wide variety of patients, from children to people with chronic diseases, and the doctor is going to be able to make a better decision on the fly because they have that information. I was an engineer prior to going into medicine. When the XPRIZE uh, Foundation and the Qualcomm Foundation came together, uh, to come up with a tricorder X Prize, I said, "This is this is great. This is exactly what I do." Tricorder is a device that helps gather information that we need as physicians to help make a diagnosis. How this version of the tricorder works is basically a series of sensors that are in one package uh, that you interact with, but you're basically putting it on your chest, listening to your heart you're putting your finger in and getting a reading of your pulse ox. There's different ways and different modes that you can use it. It's basically uh, just a, a monitor to get your vital signs. The tricorder and the, the 5G network and being able to connect these devices uh, to the caregivers is really helping advance us in being a healthier community. Without this type of information, we are just responding to illness as it rears its head. We're just responding to crisis over and over again. And that's what I do in the ER. Uh, if we can extend this information stream into the community, it's helping maintain health. We change the, the dialogue from responding to disease to preventing disease. 
It's not always about uh, big data, it's about smart data. As telemedicine transition to the private sector and into our homes, companies are looking to get doctors and patients connected in real time with the help of 5G. We spoke to Zatish Mova, CEO at CarePredict, about the use of the product Tempo Wearable that will make senior care more efficient. At CarePredict, we created a wearable device that we call the Tempo that goes on the wrist of the dominant arm. And it uh, captures all the kinematic motions of the dominant arm. It knows when the arm is lifting a fork to the mouth, a drink sip to the mouth, when it's brushing teeth or brushing hair, and it has full indoor real-time location. So we know if somebody's in the bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen. And what that allows us to do is find the activity and behavior patterns of that individual. What triggers the telemedicine episode? Either the person already having an issue reaching out to a doctor, or the doctor on a routine basis or a nurse on a routine basis periodically checking it. There is no just-in-time trigger to trigger the telemedicine. We are now at a position where we can predict the onset of a urinary tract infection 3.7 days in advance. We can predict depression, the onset of depression a week ahead of being clinically diagnosed. And we can tell with very good certainty what the chance of somebody falling in the next week are. So today we are kind of homebound because we rely on Wi-Fi. And so it only works in the home. So what if the senior goes out? Well, we're tracking the data, but it's not going to anywhere until they come back into the range of a Wi-Fi. Having something like 5G that's ubiquitous, easily available, cheaply available, and available everywhere is going to make a, a, a sea change of difference for us. So it's no longer about internet of things, it's internet of humans, and they're all going to be connected. Telemedicine is intended to improve the accessibility and delivery of healthcare, but it has inherent limitations. Mei Kwong, Executive Director, CCHP, tells us how better policies can change that. With 5G, where you can have a stronger, faster, more robust connection, that is definitely what you want in a telehealth interaction. When you have some healthcare appointment, the last thing you want is for the connection to break down because that could have actually dire consequences depending on what type of interaction that you're having or what type of appointment you're having. With the government, both on the federal and state level, what they can do with telehealth policy that will help spur innovation and competition um, as a result of that will be to expand some of the policies around telehealth. Uh, right now, they're very limited in like what you can do, what services are reimbursed. If you allow the provider to decide when to use technology and how to use it and for what, that's probably what will help the most in spurring the use of telehealth. With telemedicine evolving daily, 5G has the opportunity to create faster first responders, efficient medical services, and life-saving communication. Companies like Zipline and CaptureProof are providing services and products that will enhance the telemedicine experience with the help of 5G. 20 years from now, we'll look back and wonder how we lived without it. The possibilities are boundless.